Welcome to this video on robotic gripper guys. In this video we will be modeling two parts for this robotic gripper. This is the first part and this right here is the second part. So let's begin. First click on part and then click OK. This window will get open. From here change the background to plain white for better visualization and make sure that you have selected MMGS as units that are in millimeters. After that click on top plane and click on sketch which is very first option after that click on this polygon option and here make sure that you have selected six numbers for this polygon you can increase and decrease it but make sure that these are six make here a hexagon like this on this origin after that select smart dimensioning tool and specify the distance between these two lines I'm specifying as four millimeters now press escape button then select this line and make relation horizontal okay now the sketch is fully defined as you can see it from here and then you can go to features and here you can select extruded boss base and here we need to define the length of this part which I'm defining as 16 millimeter although we can change it later and then you can check this box from here okay now we have to give it some appearance so select this option go to appearance here select metal although this is an optional step you can change any appearance I'm selecting this one and now let's just save this part for that click on file click on save as and here you have to name it as aligner and after that click on save and then cross this window now we are done with first part and making the second part so click on part and click OK while opening a new part file. Here change the background to plain white from here and similarly we have to make sure that we have selected MMGS as units which are millimeters. Now click on front plane and click on sketch. And here I am selecting this center point straight slot and on this origin make a straight slot like this. Make sure that this is horizontal. But let's suppose if, if this is that angle, we can fix it as well. So click here and then drag it like this and then click here again. Now select this line and make relation horizontal. Now this will be straight. Now we have to assign it some dimension. So select smart dimension tool and here specify the length of this center line as 50 millimeter. And now we have to define the radius. So click on this arc and here define the radius as 5 now go to features and here we have to click on extruded boss base here we have to define the width which is 5 millimeter and then simply check this box from here now we have to cut two holes so select this face and click on sketch now we have to select a circle and we have to hover the mouse on this arc as soon as we do this this plus point will get appear and make a circle here on this plus point similarly we have to do the same procedure here as you can see this point will get appear which is basically the center mark now simply select the smart dimensioning tool and here specify the diameters for both of these circle as 5 millimeter okay now go to features and here select actually cut because we want to cut these holes since we want through holes so we will be selecting here through all and here make sure that the direction of cut is correct you can change the direction from here and i'm intentionally making it in wrong direction and it will not allow us to cut we have to make the this arrow direction in the right way like this and then check this box from here now this part has been completed and now i am simply giving it some appearance so you can apply any appearance if you like this is an optional step so i'm applying this appearance now i have to save this part for that click on file and click on save as write the name as clam support and then save it and you can cross it from here 
now we have completed two parts of this robotic gripper if you want to find the rest of the videos you can find the link in description thanks for watching